Hello guys, and welcome to our first development update video. Today you'll meet some of my colleagues who will talk to you about the features they added into the game the last few weeks. Grab a drink and enjoy! The idea is to add more threats to the environment, besides normal puppets and, of course, other players. The first threat we're adding comes in a form of a puppet with a few pounds of high explosives strapped to its chest. It behaves just like a normal puppet, aggroing when it sees you and running towards you, trying to strike you. Upon reaching a certain distance, the explosives will trigger, probably instantly killing you and making you lose all your gear, which is kind of the point. One of the tasks of our animation team is to completely overhaul the weapons. M1 is the first rifle that will get this set of changes, including new motion capture animations, some visual overhauls and much more. We are also trying to make a better difference between basic and advanced skill. Affected changes include recoil, reload, spread and other gun-related mechanics. The idea is to include this weapon in an upcoming update, collect feedback and apply it on the rest of the weapons. In this patch, we have completely reworked the placement system. The old one was a big mess and was difficult to debug with our new features, so we just burned everything down and did it new. From the player's perspective, most things should work as before, without the bugs, I think. And what's new is the improved blueprint placement system, well, algorithm, so you can place the blueprints more easily on weird terrain. Also, you can place up to 10 blueprints at a time of any type. And finally, we added a new shader, because we can. We implemented covering in bushes from AI on the island. The range they will be able to spot you from while in bushes is based on your camouflage skill, camouflage clothes you wear, and stance whether you're standing, crouching or in prone while hiding in bushes. Next, we have some new additions to the UI, visibility and sound bars. Visibility bar shows you, you guessed it, how visible you are with your current stats and close to the AI. Biggest news regarding sound for next patch is utilization of stealth skill. Level of skill will adjust loudness and range of footstep, equipment noise, door interaction, search and inventory handling sounds. Also, walking in dense forest areas will produce foliage sounds that will be audible on longer distances. That will make players engage more and use more tactical approach to move throughout the map. We've been working hard on audio optimization as well. We reduced number of consecutive voices by half and instruction calls towards audio engine by 10 times. This will make room for some more exciting audio features in the future. And more bass. I'm working on upgrading SCAM to use the latest Unreal Engine version. With the new Unreal Engine version powering SCAM, we expect to see performance improvements on both client and the server. Additionally, this will enable us to make use of all the new cool features developed in Unreal and keep SCAM up to date. <coughs> when I'm finished with the Unreal Engine, there are two high priorities features for me. The first one is streaming improvements. <coughs> With that, we aim to fix stuttering mostly noticeable when approaching or moving through cities. The other feature is metabolism, <coughs> which is being reworked from ground up to make things better, consistent and clearer, so that you can understand better what is happening with your car. <coughs> <coughs> 